Hi, this is Dave Van Hoy. I'm the president of Advanced Systems Group, and I am here today with remote control for Silicon Valley Video. This is a webinar series about technology in remote production today. Today, we our guest is Ed Fiore, who is the general manager of primary storage products at Quantum. Welcome, Ed. Hey, welcome. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for having me. I oh, appreciate it's a pleasure. Being it's fun to work with, I realized this year, uh, my 20th year with Quantum as a product and part of our portfolio. It's, uh, it's, quite a, it's, it's quite a history and quite a product. And I'm new to Quantum. I've been here for five months. I came in through the acquisition of a product called Otavium. So I'm brand new to Quantum, so I'm learning the products as we go. <laughs> oh, great. So we wanted to ask you, you know, today, you know, what is Quantum's focus in technology and has that changed with the COVID situation and uh, how are you guys addressing that? Yeah, thanks. It, it actually has, it's actually accelerated um, some of the things that we had on our roadmaps um, with the due to remote workers. You know, one of the things if you've used Quantum in the past, you know, one of the things we're really focused on is your ease of use, right? <clears throat> I'm sorry, Dave. One of our, one of our, one of our things we're working on is ease of use. And if you've worked with Quantum in the past, you've seen how our user interfaces are getting better and easier to use. Um, and with that has become, we've also developed some features for, for cloud tiering. How do we move data to the cloud? Um, but that wasn't good enough anymore, right? Now we actually have to be able to run data in the cloud. And with people that want to work remotely, that data needs to be portable. It needs to be able to travel with them. And so cloud access is one of the ways people want to do that where they'll move data sets up into the cloud. And so the ability to move data and then run store next in the cloud is really what we're focused on as we go forward. And really the key is to this is the moving of the data, right? Data is no longer gonna live in a single data center. It's gonna be very portable. And then, you know, kind of understanding what that data is to make sure that you move the right assets is kind of the key to all of that. Make Definitely sense? important topics for our clients. And, yeah. I'll, you know, down that path, you know, what are your initiatives? You came from, you know, what, you were one of the founders of Atavium, which definitely had a uh, unique product focus in storage space. Um, you know, how are these things coming together today? Yeah, so, so what we're doing is you, if Atavium was basically built for understanding your data. So it was about, you know, identifying or classifying your data. Um, once you had that classification, now I can do something with it. Um, and so making it portable was, was key to that, is that it was no longer about tiering, it was about data placement. And so as we combine Atavium and Stornex together, what you're going to see is the ability to define your data by your project, uh, by your scene, by your shot, however you want to identify that data. And once I've identified that data, now I can move that specific piece. So if you're in a workflow where hey, I don't have assets in LA, I want to work up in the cloud. I, now I have a classification that says what scene or what shot it happens to be. I can move that up to the cloud and then I can spin up an instance in the cloud and work against that. So if you really look at what we're doing, it's all about automation going forward. You know, how do I automate the movement of that? And then like, you know, people work on a part of a film or a sequence of, of a film at a time and the ability to move that back and forth from flash to, to bulk or from bulk to cloud or from cloud from one cloud to another cloud is just really important. It, it, it is amazing how COVID has accelerated the ability or the desire to be able to move that data from site to site or from cloud to cloud. Definitely an important topic today and a challenging topic for storage vendors because of the need for real time in the deliverables, yet the need to be diaspora during editorial and production. Right. Yeah. Well, we've been, what we've been finding is that, you know, obviously things like 4k, you know, re, you know, the really looking at 4k is tough to do in the cloud, but again, if I want to do color correction or if I want to do just some minor editing, it's very easy unless I move my entire workflow. Um, so people are really looking to do, you know, very simple tasks. You know, I have a thousand artists that are all working at home today you know, I need a thousand little instances. I only want them to have access to what I want them to have access to. I don't want them to see everything. And so the ability to do that is really important. Um, and it's, it is where we're focused going forward. Awesome. So, I mean, it's, uh, yeah. you know, storage is such an important part of the media and entertainment 
field today. Uh, oh. you, you pretty much can't live without it. It is, it is how we do it. Yeah. Yeah. What, a couple of the other things we're focused on too, Dave, what, what's interesting about quantum over other companies is, you know, we acquired active scale. Um, so now we have a, a way to protect your data. Um, we can geo spread your data. You can have your data in multiple locations um, and you can build massive petabytes and petabytes of stores that are very protected. We also have a significant tape, you know, you know, tape customer base. And so the ability to preserve your data for 100 years or 200 years with the, with the knowledge of what it is, how to classify it, um, really is something that's unique to quantum. Um, it's quite honestly why I'm excited to be here. It's just the fact that you can take all this technology that quantum's had now and what they've acquired, and we can actually build something that really does allow you to understand exactly what you're archiving or keeping, exactly where it is, when it's there, and who needs it. That is very unique to what we're doing going forward. You know, coming from, you have a long history in storage across many places. You know, uh, do you find that that set of tools to develop and work from is uh, unique or, or is this a more common thing? Oh, it's it's very unique. Um, you know, you mentioned coming from storage. I, you know, Isilon. I was very early Isilon. You know, a node was a terabyte, right? And so, you know, Isilon was built. I, Isilon is really built to to store data very elegantly, right? It's very good at just storing the data and keeping it there. But but if you want to manage the data, you know, you have to bolt something on top, right? Um, if I want to get to a tape drive, I have to bolt another piece on the side of that, right? So the ability to integrate all of those products, all that in a single solution is just something that's very unique to quantum. Um, people just don't own, own all those assets. And so it's very rare to see all those assets under a single company. True. You know, that is one question that I think would be a great one to wrap up with, which is, you know, there's a wide range of storage technologies today from the fastest at NVMe to the least expensive and slowest probably at tape. tape. Uh, although tape is not as slow as it used to be. And, you know, how do you see that ecosystem and quantum's role in it? Yeah, so what's nice about quantum, if you look at where we are today, the Stornex product is one of the fastest file systems on the planet. Um, and so having the ability to leverage that really fast tier with a scale out file system is just, just really important to be a 4K. If you want to do, you know, eight 4K streams, you buy quantum, right? It's just w what you do. As NVMe becomes more prevalent, um, NVMe over fabric is clearly a direction we're going, right? So, you know, flash directly from the host, directly to the, to the devices that the flash sits in, um, external center of rack type of things is what we're focused on. You know, how do we get that tier? How do we distribute that tier is a lot of what we're working on. Um, and then again, people want to be able to have that data long term. Um, so, you know, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, when you're, my favorite story comes out of the DreamWorks folks, when I'm working on Shrek 84 and I need a scene out of Shrek 3, I need it today, right? And so having the ability to have things like object stores and tape that's actually fast and you can get to is really important because you never know what asset you want to re-leverage. And when you re want to use it again, you need it to be in that flash tier right away. Um, so that's really important to where we're going and how we're looking at things. Well, that's fantastic. Well, Ed, thank you so much for coming and being with us today. Oh, I, you're very welcome. I really appreciate it. I enjoy spending time with you guys, and I love the video market. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a challenging space, and the, the amount of data that you're dealing with and how to manage it is just, it's just amazing how people are dealing with the problems that they have in front of them. Well, so. thank you. Your tools are definitely an integral part of that. Yeah, thank you. This is Dave Van Hoy from Advanced Systems Group. Thank you for watching today, and we'll see you next time on Silicon Valley's Video Remote Control.